Today I'm going to teach you to program uh, if statement in Casio FX9750. So in this calculator I'm going to teach you to program this this thing and we have two if statements and there are several cases for each one. So the first case is if x is greater than 10 and y is greater than 15. So these two statements are uh, added by this logical operator and then we have to calculate x plus y the sum of x and y and this expression x minus y minus 10 and also we have to display that both the numbers are greater than 10 and other if statement is if x is less than 10 or y is less than 10 any one of them is less than 10 so our statement or logical operator says that if any of them is less than 10 then calculate x divided by 2 and y divided by 2 and we have to display that at least one of them is less than 10 so we have to do this in our Casio FX9750 so let's start so before that we have to ask for these two variables x and y okay so go to the program and then click enter since there are no programs in here so I'm going to make a new one click F3 and write the name of the program for now I'm just going to write the name page if space programming tr o g okay uh, it is quite understandable so enter okay the name of my project uh, or the program is if programming okay so i'm going to ask for the values of x and y first so for that i'm going to click on alpha and I will stop it and ask enter sorry uh, to permanently lock alpha click shift alpha okay and then e n t p x Okay, so we don't have to click alpha each time after we log it. And then click on shift variations and this question mark and this arrow will um, store the, re the value given by the user in a variable named x and execute. Okay, so again I'm going to ask for the value of y but for that I'm going to just copy this statement below and just edit it. So click shift clip and I'm going to select it. Okay, and then F1 for copy and go to the next line and click on shift paste. Okay, so I need to edit this instead of y x it should be y okay delete it and this is alpha y so this is also y okay now i'm going to use the if operators if x is greater than 10 and y is greater than 15 okay for that click on shift varies okay and there is this command so click on f1 and this is the if statement click on if if now i'm going to type x okay so i need on this logical operator the relations between the x and 10 that is the greater one so to go there just click on shift and various okay and scroll it and there is uh, this option calculation so click on f3 
and I need the greater one so if it is greater than 10 and so I will just make this space here and I need a logical operator for that click on options and scroll it again and this is the logical operator click on F4 and and if x is greater than 10 and I need y is greater than so for the relation again click on shift a r s okay and scroll it this is the relation and greater than 15 and again click on shift areas I need the command then then I'm going to add this X and Y so alpha X plus Y and execute again I need to find X minus Y minus 10 and execute and I have to show that both are greater than 0 okay for that I am going to use a character mm, so I am going to exit from this thing okay, and I need a character And in here we have this character note that these characters and the relations are different things they are just to show and they are the others are to operate okay greater than 10 okay I will make it as small as possible and execute okay <laughs> Uh, this is the end of if statement if x is greater than 10 and y is greater than 15 then x plus y and calculate this and show that it is greater than 10 both are greater than 10 okay and i need another statement for if so click on shift yes command if and say the x is less than 10 or any of them is less than 10 X is so to go to the relations I have to click on shift B A R S and scroll and it is R E O here less than 10 and to go to the logic operators click here R okay and alpha y is less than for less than again we have to go to areas relations to less than 10 if any one of them is less than 10 enter then relations command then okay since we have uh, already used if, I need to use this as else if. Okay, so I should put it else in front of if. Else if, if this, uh, else if, then, okay, it works like that. Then I have to find x divided by 2, then x divided by 2, and y divided by 2 and I have to display uh, at least okay I'm going to write okay I'm going to lock alpha first and 
at least. At least one. I'm going to use a character to exit from this thing and click character and go here. Okay. At least one less than ten. Good. Okay, so now since we have started if statement, we have one if statement and one else if statement. So the most important thing that you should remember is that whenever you use if statement, you have to end that uh, loop. Okay, so we will have two if, one if and another else if. We will count them as both if. So we need two in if statement okay so click on set areas command here is if in in if command so we need these two commands twice enter and once again okay exit 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 now we are going to run it okay i'm going to enter five and another 55 so it should be it should go on this second condition right at least uh, one is less than 10 so into so we have got a error here so we scroll here we have one more space than we need so I think it will work so execute this enter 6 66 okay. okay it says that at least one is less than 10 the other thing here is it is not showing the intermediate values like it calculated x divided by 2 y divided by 2 but it didn't show uh, these two statements the intermediate calculations so for them to show for them to be visible we are going to edit this program to edit this click on f2 okay so in here what we are going to do is in every cal intermediate calculations we have used this inter sign right i'm going to delete that inter sign and click on shift vars instead of inter sign i'm going to use this triangle it makes this intermediate calculation be visible okay so i'm going to use it in every single intermediate calculations You can replace each inter signs by this uh, triangle if you want. The work is similar, they both execute the program, but the black triangle it shows uh, that intermediate calculations as well. Okay. And we can change it with this thing, but it is going to show anyhow because when anything is in between these two apps trophies, then it will be displayed. Okay, now exit. Okay, and execute. Okay, and again, you're going to use the same values 6 and 6 to 6. Yeah, okay. The first thing is 3. X divided by 2 is 3, right? And the other results will be 33. Yeah, it is 33. And it should display that at least one is small than 10. Yeah, it worked. Okay, let's run it again for case 1. Make it 77. Both greater than 10. And 88. 
okay x plus y it's 165 and x minus y minus 10 it's minus 21 and it also showed that they both are greater than 10 that's what we typed right okay this is how we program our calculator using if statement hope you guys learn this thing and thank you for watching yeah, yeah, yeah.